A warm welcome for everyone to the session number 28 in the part of React Learning Series. In this session, we will discuss about use state hook in React. This is continuation to our session number 27. Let's open index.js file from our demo project. We have two component classes here. One is employee component, another one is new employee component. Employee component has been created as a class component. And the new employee component has been created as function component. Let's delete the employee component code we have created. In this function component, we have created one state variable called as name and we have a function called as set name. Using this function, we will update this name state variable. We have a function called as change name in which we are calling our set name function. And to this set name function, we are passing the input element value. And we have one input, and this input is displaying the value of our name state variable. And whenever there is a change in this input, we are calling a function called as change name. And we are displaying that name value within this paragraph tag. Now, let's say we want to have another input element using which we can enter employee location. We will add one more paragraph tag. We will place a label employee location. Let's add one input element. Assuming that we will create a state variable called as location. And we are calling a function called as change location when there is a change on this input element. We have placed two input elements. One is for employee name, another one is for employee location. But right now we have created only one state variable. And that state variable is holding the value of employee name. Now we wanted to create another state variable using which we can store employee location. Remember that we can declare multiple state variables based on the need. Now let's go ahead and declare another state variable called as location. So we go here, we say const and we will pass the function name as set location. We will call use state hook here. We don't want to assign any default value for our location. Let's remove the default value we have passed even for name as well. Now we will implement another function called as change location. So we say function. This change location accepts one input parameter. And within this change location function, let's call set location function. And to this set location function, we will pass our input element value. So we say e dot target dot value. We have created two state variables. We have created two functions to update the respective state variable values. And then we have placed two input elements. Here we are displaying the employee name. Now let's write the code to display employee location as well. We can save these changes. Navigate to the browser. We can see the output here. Let's go ahead and enter employee name and location. And we can see that both employee name and location are being displayed in the paragraph tag. Now, if we want to build an employee creation form where we will have inputs like employee ID, employee name, employee location and employee salary. The current way of creating the multiple state variables may not be the right approach. State variables can hold objects and arrays as well. So we can still group related data together. So let's go ahead and modify the code what we have written. We will remove the multiple state variables we have created. We say const employee and we can pass the function name as set employee data we will call our use state hook and to this use state hook we will pass an object and the object will hold properties like id name location and salary 
now we will place the respective input elements using which we can enter employee id name location and salary we have input elements for employee name and location now we will add the input elements for employee id and employee salary so let's go ahead and add them we assign value to this input element by reading from our state object so we say employee as employee is our state object dot id is the property name on change is equals to let's assume that we will create a function called as change employee info the most important thing is we should assign name to each input element we will be using this name to update the employee object details so we say name is equals to id now we will do the respective changes required for employee name and employee location now we will add another input for entering employee salary now let's display the employee id name location and salary in the below paragraph tag in the paragraph tag currently we are displaying employee name and location let's make the changes required in order to display employee id name location and salary we get the employee details from our employee object and name we will be getting from employee dot name property let's go ahead and implement change employee info function now change employee info it takes one input parameter we will call set employee data function here and to this set employee data function we have to pass our employee object using set employee data function we will be updating our employee object into the state this change employee info function will be called for a change on any of the input elements it can be id name location or salary and to this set employee data we have to pass an object which contains respective property name and the corresponding value so if we observe our input element names we have ensured that the respective input element name is same as property name of our employee object so we pass an object and we get the input element name using e dot target dot name as we wanted to use that as the property name we have enclosed that in square brackets and its value will be e dot target dot value to this object we are passing elements name as the property name and its corresponding value save these changes navigate to the browser we can see the employee form is being displayed here let's go ahead and enter employee details now when we enter employee id we can see employee id is being displayed here i'm entering employee name we can see the employee name is being displayed here but we don't have employee id now if we go and enter employee location we will be getting the location but not employee id and employee name so let's enter location we can see that we are having the location value but not id or name value let's get back to visual studio code and let's see how can we fix this problem if we observe our set employee data function call to that function we are passing one object and that object is holding only the current input element details but not rest of the input element details now question is how do we return rest of the input element values as well this is where we will use spread operator of javascript so here we say three dots employee we pass our employee object plus the current input element details save these changes let's navigate to the browser let's enter employee details 
we can see we are displaying employee id employee name location and salary we are able to retain the current input element values plus previous input element values as well let's understand our set employee data function behavior for this line of code when we enter employee id our employee object will be holding one property called as id and its corresponding value so it looks like this now when we go ahead and enter employee name our employee object will be holding only one property again called as name and its corresponding value now our employee object will not be holding value of id let's understand our set employee data function behavior again when we write this line of code when we enter employee id our employee object will be holding one property called as id and its corresponding value now when we enter employee name our employee object will be holding both employee id and employee name if we enter location it holds values of id name and location with this we have got a fair amount of understanding on how to use use state hook in react thank you for watching this video and have a great day